And the key was, uh, he's a, he's, I feel like he's a first round fighter. He's really tough in the first round and he kind of breaks after that. So uh, I felt like I just, just win the first round. I knew I was going to take him out in the second or third. That knee was close at the end. Did you hit him on the shoulder or where did you hit him? Yeah, yeah. Um, I play so I, I'm not going to change my style, um, my style of fighting. I, I knee a lot. I knee when guys come up. Um, they're susceptible to their, um, to their sternum area. So yeah, I threw it. I knew I was going to hit him in the face. Um, it seems it seems like you react well in transitions. Do you guys work on that in practice? Yeah, um, yeah, we do. But I, I'm naturally good at scrambling, so I just like to to throw them up when I scramble. It seems like your wrestling is much improved from uh, the last couple of fights that we've seen you. And uh, how much did you focus on that ahead of this fight? Man, I did a lot of work with uh, my wrestling coach Kenny Monday. Um, He's an Olympic gold medalist, so I had no cho no choice but to get better at working with him. So uh, big hats off to him for working with me. You were nearly 10 minutes with him the first time. Did you make a lot of adjustments coming into this fight based on what you had experienced in the first meeting? Uh, yes, sir. The adjustments I made was um, this is by, by far been my hardest training camp. I did a lot of my um, my preparation inside our cage, and I did a lot of um, work with my Black Zillion brothers. I had a um, fresh guy every round. So, man, my training was about three times harder than the fight. And the, and the fight was hard, but my training was just harder. Did you feel that Roger made any adjustments, or was he the same fighter that you met the first time? Yeah, I feel like um, Roger really hasn't evolved much since Strike Force, so um, I feel like he's kind of the same fighter. He's just a tough game opponent, you know? Looking back at the strikes, he threw a lot of knees to the body, uh, knees from everywhere. He said you, you, you like that uh, position. Um, never once did it cross your mind, though, that, hey, maybe I got to worry about these knees when he does have three points at the ground? No, like I said, um, I'm not going to change my style of fighting. I like to throw knees when, when guys come up. Um, if you think too long, you, you thought wrong. You know, you already missed your next step if you're thinking about it. So I'm not thinking when I fight, I'm just throwing it. If it happens, it happens. It's a mistake. I'm not a dirty fighter, so I'm, I'll never intentionally try to hit somebody, you know, dirtily, you know. What does this one say about you going forward? Uh, do, do you think it puts you in line to request an opponent, or is it just whoever's next? Yeah, I'm not that type of fighter to request somebody. Uh, I just want to make a statement, and whoever the UFC or Dana White wants me to have next, I'll gladly accept it. It seems like a lot of people in the past maybe year were a bit hard on the Black Zillions as a camp, but this year you seem to have a resurgence with Vitor Belfort as well as Rashad Evans and yourself now getting that win. How does that feel to take another win home back to the camp? Man, it feels good. You know, we've been on a roll, and, uh, you know, it's no, no pressure that I wanted to mess that up, but, you know, you never want to be that guy, and I have no doubts, you know, somebody, we're not going to lose for a while. You know, we train hard. Like I said, this is by far been my hardest training camp, so everything's coming together. I feel like the team's finally coming together. We're like a brotherhood, you know, we're sticking together. Everybody wants the best for each other, so it's a beautiful thing right now down at the Black Zillions. What's next? Are you going to get back into training camp or are you take some time off? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take some time off. Um, I'm going to Iowa to see my babies. Uh, so I'm going to be there for a couple weeks. But I'll be back first thing in January, and uh, I would like to fight again in March. How many times do you want to fight here in 2014? Man, I want to fight at least four times a year. I want to stay active. I want to be an active fighter. I want to get my name out there, make some money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it, man.